right then, welcome to part three of our Norfolk mini-series. In this episode, we're going to be visiting Pleasure Beach, and then we'll be going back to the arcades in Great Yarmouth, you know, over there. Um, what I can see in that arcade, the Giant Lighthouse is still here, but it is for sale on Facebook Marketplace as of when I'm recording this, so this might be the last time we see it, uh, so we'll be sure to play it today, get one last go in it, because I don't know where there's another one, they're very rare machines. Nonetheless, we're going to wait for the park to open, we'll go in, play some machines, see what they're like. So uh, yeah, sit back and enjoy this video. still here so the treasure boxes some machines have gone and I'll uh, show you that uh, first of all we'll try this treasure box might have gone too far to start with okay. Set good that to be fair. We'll try it again. Try another one, absolutely not that one though. Got some around here. Briefly try this dinosaur one soon. It doesn't look seem as good, it's the bluey and it's an EO one that I seem the best. The you know, money box push has gone as has Cash Kong, those are two of the machines that have gone. Seems good that time. Horse giant lighthouse. Completely accepts. Oh, found an extra quid in there. Church fair fitted on these too, so well, I can't remember what prizes these are in last time, no, but this one was weak. I think it might be because it's lighter prizes in. Yeah. 
try this uh, Palkai Golden Balls again. Last time I had a Mongus in, this time it's got Mario, so hopefully it'll grab easier. Because again, it was weak last time. Doesn't appear to close at all there. Two cosmics here, both for the original claws. I didn't try them last time. We'll try them this time. Church Feffin as well, so no idea what it's gonna be like. It's really weak, that's what. No, the one in Hemsby with this claw was all right, but you know that actually might be because it had the one. I'll try that uh, Kawaii one over there in a moment as well. the grab we want. Right, that's picked it up. Please, don't error out. Please stay. That is definitely ready, I think. Go grab like that again. The church fest stays ready too, I think, unless the sensors are misaligned there, so it might just rig again. The thing is with church fair with the sensors, as long as they're not blocked, you know, it will stay ready, as far as I believe. However, you know, the sensors there look misaligned, they're in bad shape if I'm honest. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not ready again. Let's see what it's like this time. That might do it again. Hopefully, no. to it. Got this uh, new thing here, this uh, new trailer kind of thing. EX1's either side with instance machines in between. Try zone there. And um, a candy girl on this side. Interesting. Might have to give these a go later, but I just want to see what the old site first. Which at the moment, uh, the treasure box and the other arcade was very good, but that cosmic there, I don't know. Not all the sensors aligned there, yeah, so if it's payout, um, it'll stay it. Hopefully, it's if it grabs these. Yeah, okay, I'm not sure about the um, gantry on this one. Motor seems a bit worn. Go and I've got 20 p's at the moment as well as well pounds I did have. Needs a good grab, I don't know. I'm still not the biggest fan of this claw. I appreciate it's a rare claw, but you know the design of it I don't like. But it is better than the uh, X Factor claw. I will give it that at the very least. I 
do think we might get somewhere with it though. I don't see it shaking when it rigs, which it apparently, well, does. Yeah, I don't know. It is obviously rigging there. Go and play the mega cranes. There's two mega cranes left. Aside from the Cosmics, they're in this building, which is where the toppers were last time. But unfortunately, the toppers are gone. The max grabs, actually, or at least one double player, which was in Magic City, as you might be able to see, is in there. So try the Megas, and we'll probably try that. I've only got a few 20 pieces left, but I've got all day to come back and play them, so we'll do just that. Uh, see. Try that so first. These are old prizes, some of these. Applause, which is kind of what we want. You know, a chance of overplay. Yeah, these aren't very good. But, um, I want to try this dinosaur one if it looks set. Which I don't. Um, I'm not sure which one's going to be the best. left on this EX1, let's see what it's like. Hopefully these will uh, be something. Ooh, actually set very good. It's too far over to the left. It seems strong though. That, I'm tempted to give that another pound. That's going to be good, I think. Oh. It says pound for four plates, which five must still be set on 20 a go. I think if uh, we grab it right again, we're definitely going to win. Oh, could be done. If we drag it over to the left, so it's going to do it. Save holding it. Well, 
what we're doing here is we're making it worse. You know, we want to get it close to the chute in hopes of overpay. Instead, we're pushing it further away. Like, if it gets stuck out around the ears, it's very possible it's strong enough anyway. See how it goes, unless like, we get super close, I'm not going to put another pound in, at least not yet. doing it right now that's how we want to do it it needs to um, grab the ears really the other place? This, this might be the most of playing the X1 on the entire trip so far yeah okay maybe just maybe just gonna not screw this up which we might have very well done. this one again. That's not even the way we want it. I mean, it's just, I mean if it gets stuck in the claw, maybe it will stop heading the wings. Like we nearly did that one. There's a reason HP put lots of size 15s on, because these claws are terrible. I don't like them. I appreciate they're rare, but there's obviously a reason why they're rare. We're gonna play the other one, at least that one picked it up. I think the settings on that one might not have been as good.
got to do it a certain way. Bingo, Steve won the way it's not going to hit any other prize. gonna go down the shoot or not. This drop bike we're not gonna win anyway unless it's payouts. So I've just been watching someone play this treasure box. This is not close this is closing late so it's going up a little bit then closing so I'm absolutely not playing that again. Um, probably won't win. We are going to play the giant lighthouse, however. Um, very well, could very well be the last time we get to play it because it's for sale at the moment on Facebook. So, um, yeah, make the most of this. Not a good start. Let's go. 
seals machine again now, so I'm happy I got to play it one more time. Try this one. Don't seem to close as much. Right, yeah. not around the corner behind it it's two big ones back to back with the uh, poster in the back still which is interesting to see um, which one am I going for stitch I think again just seems weak Weekend, the floor don't close all the way, so. Right, yeah. right that, this one seems bad. Play this cosmic and it's grab snapping. Yeah, okay, I'm not exactly sure why it's doing that. Uh, maybe there's a problem with the sensors. Um, machines here. There's these megas were here last time but the top one's gone. We've just seen that round the back when I went on the uh, monorail. That looks like that's scrap. Uh -huh. so the machine. I guess I'll try the max scrap. Let's see 
what the EX ones are like over here. Because they've all went on our Euro to one. Might as well gun through some of these. I'm not playing out, it's just a Jurassic Park one. Well, that's an open mind, but. Do you know what? I haven't got a good drop height, but I'll try it. It's going to be a payout, it's going to be a payout. Um, Coming on the look, but Clover is like last time. In my opinion, it's not my favourite anyway. Um, so the next time you'll see me is uh, around Great Yarmouth, and uh, hopefully that hell up there. So uh, after a day at the Pleasure Beach, we're gonna play the arcades in Great Yarmouth for now. That exact yo know, phrase after a day in the Pleasure Beach, that's something you'd normally hear in a Blackpool video of mine. Yo, know, if I do Pleasure Beach, then the arcades afterwards, yeah. Think about it, in some way, it's not exactly Great Yarmouth is sort of like you know, Blackpool or South of it. Definitely reminds me of Blackpool anyway. Though there's not as many red machines like you know, these in Blackpool, so arguably Great Yarmouth is better. Uh, that's not grabbing for some reason. We'll try the stitch one. Though I don't think that's gonna be any better either. I forgot about that one, I always do. Right. I play the topper, I think, and I'll go on to the other half. Then there's pizza price yeah, drops, including the talented spicy chicken pita flavor, and classic fun cheese dish. Worth three pounds each now. Those other arcades are going to go to you, but first I'm going to play this topper. If it works, that is. Select a slot and line subject to availability. Coke 330 mil, 425 each. Pieces of flatbread, and 17th of July. Makes food expensive. Do you love reading? Then Readly is the perfect app for you. Get unlimited access to 7,500 magazines and newspapers, all in one app, with Readly. Your favourite titles. It's journalism you won't put down. Sign up online now and enjoy two months free. Yeah, Read more of what you love with Readly. The news automatically... Yeah, I'm not sure whether that's a fault of the coil or whether that's a processor. Uh, we'll uh, leave it. Just try it though. We'll go to the other arcades, however. Right, we have not had a win today yet, but I know once we finish playing this shining cube, we will. I hope, anyway. It is possible I may have tempted fate. Okay, I think that can be done. Just need a good grab on it. Might try one of the other sides, or is there anything else here? I don't think there's any blue, he's got a ball. Bingo here, maybe. Nice. Right then, we're going to try the Pokemon one as well. This Toge Pie here, or how we pronounce it, again, could sort of Reese. I know nothing about Pokemon. Um, no, I just threw him away. Well, uh, it's 
seems stronger, so it might have actually done it. Um, not that time though. Someone is very excited to win two peas. Meanwhile, we've won ourselves pay out some Pokemon. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Steven has seen the one now. Uh, but what one? Maybe that one. Seems a bit weak. <laughs> something here. I think there's definitely a chance. Perfect. Oh, is it going to be a teaser, is it? That's good, we like a good teaser. It just makes it all the more satisfying when you win. Or if you do. Sometimes. position or not, if not we're going to go to the next arcade. We'll always come back later, might have had a reshuffle since, or they might have moved around from other people playing. I'm determined to win from this Kinder Crane at some point during this trip, I did it multiple times last year, you've got to again this time, it's high, it's high stacking up so... the drop height doesn't take it all the way to the top. Maybe the Pokemon here actually. I don't know if the ball will grab it. They just keep trying to pick up. Nah. 
Right, yeah. Seems alright, that sound. Like, it seems strong, but I don't think it's going to grab enough for it, so... Right, yeah. Let's go for a sonic. Right again. I don't know, maybe tails. The weird claw on it. Right again. So I guess it fits, you know, the name, you know, them getting those. As we saw before, the other Max Grab, or one of the other ones, is now at Pleasure Beach. That's awful bit of grab strength, which absolutely fits the uh, Pleasure Beach. Yeah, it's the grab strength on some of them machines were terrible as well. We just got a little bit of a and I go to a different arcade. Um, yeah, I just thought it's. I don't often pass up on my scrap, I wasn't going to them. So, off we go. Alright, try this toy stack again. Um, maybe we might be able to fluke Rick there. Or get folded again. Either or. But I've won one out of it, at least. I'm just testing my luck and see if I can get any more. Morty might be better, I don't know. seem high stack now so I'm not sure. Try for Eevee to start with, don't think it'll swing. Go for the other one. That oh, could be done easily. There, we'll have one. We could have one if that means you want to, but Gotta make an effort with this one. with these claws.
it's not going to uh, zone base it or swing, what I was meant to say. He's trying to like aim it so it's over the chute, grabs it. That's oh, just ruining his jaw. Put my losses and put a pound in it. We'll probably win the first go, no. It's not even going to do it now, it's just ruins. And Eevee's too far in the back. We'll briefly try this BTU one. Pokemon, so could be the best of both worlds here. Just didn't. Yeah, the grabs are just terrible on it. I bought one up on this one here as well. to do it this time. versus the player will win. There we go, got it. The question is, is what other ones will it get? None, I don't think. So I think we might be able to with this too. This seems to be right by the shoe here and you can like move them in. I don't I don't think it's gonna happen with this one though. We're just really lucky with that one. I don't know now. 
like stronger machines now. Shall we? Him. He sends a chorus. 
a bit small for it though, it absolutely is. It doesn't look very strong either. Let's see what is on offer over at the Silver Spot. Come out of the mint. If you couldn't hear the announcements. Um, they make it very obvious that it's the mints. So uh, we'll have a look in Silver Slipper now and see what's here. Well, we know what's here, but we'll possibly play a couple of things and uh, see if we can win anything. Okay, we're not playing that one again. That's like the Rick and Morton one. Yes, well, it's majestic. The mints, Silver Slipper, they're all owned by the same people. So, for what we've seen so far, maybe they just don't set the X ones up very good. The Planet Flex. Okay, don't think we'll grab them. Stitch, I'm not sure if they're the prime with the ramp there. No, it won't. Try the good old treasure box. once they'll come back again again high budget it's a holiday claw track mini series so the budget is high um so it's a uh, magic claw time or as cj would call them tragic claws which is unironically an amazing name i might even start calling them that on videos so the first tragic claw we're gonna play
picture up to someone. <laughs> Most likely a coincidence, but to consider the motor stops. One thing I did when I woke up, only one, hold it to right for a bit and then go to the left. I don't think you know that's where we won. I think that was just a coincidence. Yeah, it absolutely was. I have tried it on a few other magic balls, but and Jason's trick of going all the way to the right and then just nudging it slowly left does not work.
chance now is that Burns is there. It's just going to hit the chute though, isn't it? Isn't it? Giving it one. Might actually try Steve. It's right in the middle, so it is going to drop in. Or not. Do I give it a pound? I actually do. And maybe it'll get stuck or something. It doesn't seem to open there, so I think it is randomized a payout on these. If it is payout. Most of the time, if you how oh, that's set, you can easily tell when that's rigged. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's not good enough, though. the creeper or something and it could be fluked and not messed up. here last episode we won two from this side one pussy boost by payout and then a shrimp um by fluke from that side now yo know, they must have changed the prizes since because now it's mario's and these are monkey things um, Slow, so we're not going to win, not from this one. Especially not like that. Try this one.
hard to grab them, especially the uh, black solenoid. If it was a blue solenoid e it'd probably be a different story. I'll look at that one 
Louis one will probably win from again, like. Probably weighs about the same.
try to shoot again, give it one more and see where it gets us. Oh. This is where I get folded again.
saved on it. Well, good colour, equal colour. Even the black solenoid, which is you know agreed by multiple people to be the um, you know least best one. You know, obviously the blue one's the best one, but it's still a good colour. Maybe you should put that on those uh, crazy toys as well, and the magic claws, even though hyper claws. I'll be I'll go for the hyper claws because they they fit the voltage for the eight volts.
this is it like that. That's with these prizes in that makes it nearly impossible to win from. simple to do all you do is you see the allen key there that there's probably one on the other side too yeah unscrew them and move the claw slightly down so it closes all the way that way people can actually win from it but only when it's due to pay out you're not going to lose any money from that customers will be happy when they win a giant steven including me I know the claws on them aren't the best, but it's, they're not better than e-claw claws. However, at least they make a full closure, so you're actually going to win on it. Yeah. So the mint, if you are, if you do happen to watch this video and see that, please just change the setting. You know, you're not you're not going to get overpay if it makes a full closure. E-claws are too smart for that. You have auto claw on them. You know, you won't lose much. Trust me. Back at this uh, magic claw. Again, the claws are inferior. But at least these ones close all the way or close enough to grab the prize if you get a decent enough grab, like so. We might actually, in fact, as a result of that, believe it or not, but we might actually win. I mean, we did before on the bluey one, so. we can try where we might. No guarantees, but we'll see. Maybe this dog one. <laughs> I don't know 
sure if Palkai make bigger claws compatible with these, but these must just be the default ones and no one's changed them. It's 48 volts, so, you know, even with the connection, you know, even if you just bodged it with, you know, chop block or soldered it, you actually could fit a hyperclaw to these. And I wouldn't operate these, but if I did, I 100% would put a hyperclaw on it. We'll finish up this episode here, I've got some 10 p's left. I am not allowed to film at Wellington for Pier, so we're just going to finish up out here with these magic claws. tells me this bluey one might very well be overpaying because it's turned off. You know, I thought I was going to win then. Yeah, world class rigging now. At least this one works, the other one don't. What the hell is this? Tobacco, has someone rolled one up on a magic claw? mini-series and uh, I don't think you know the last episode will be talks unfortunately but it's been decent again anyway right last go of the night will we win uh, not quite but we've had a few 
few wins anyway. So that's going to wrap it up for Claw Trek episode 203, the third episode of our Norfolk mini series. So we didn't get anything in Pleasure Beach, but upon returning to the, arc the other arcades in Great Yarmouth, we've won seven prizes four more Bluey plush, a Steven the Seagull, a Pokemon, I don't know its name, and this uh, Me to You Bear. Um, if you want to know that Pokemon's name, if you don't, uh, again, speak to Reese about that. So, uh, yeah, a uh, good episode, I'd say. Not as good as the last one, but as I said before, the bar is quite high there, so it would take a lot to top that. So uh, that's it for our third episode of this mini-series. Uh, stay tuned for the last one, which will be the next one, which will just be a quick run along the uh, arcades here in Great Yarmouth before I go home tomorrow. Either way, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you all next time. Take care and goodbye.